on a 200 selfie camera, 4K, 30 FPS. This is stabilization. I have to say I'm really excited about this one because Honor 200 is one of the best value for money mid-range devices. So let's crack on. Selfie camera, Honor 200 Pro. This is another requested camera comparison that you wanted, guys. So here it is. This is the quality, stabilization. I apologize, guys, because there is no dynamic range here because it's, it's a UK. It doesn't happen very often. Uh, to have a sunshine here. Maximum zoom times 10 on on a 200 4k 30 fps And switching back to ultra wide angle And this is quality maximum zoom times 10 on a 200 pro What do you think about the quality is the pro a little bit better? Let me know in the comments below and I'll switch to ultra wide angle now portrait video mode on honor 200 this is the quality please let me know what you think also I would like to say that 98% of my regular watches are not subscribers of this channel so if you are not a subscriber please hit that subscribe button and I'm gonna carry on with my review this is portrait video mode on the main sensor. You have to enable it. There's a, like a little face and you have to click on it and then you can change the aperture, which means then you can use that blurry background effect. Uh, this is Honor 200 Pro. Let me know what you think about the quality. Lots of people suggested to check on shutter speed so there you have I am using the high res so as you can see it's not the fastest look you need like a second however when you go to the normal you can see this is a lot quicker let's see how fast is the shutter speed on on a 200 as you can see it's pretty fast uh, but let's have a look at the high resolution, you know, that 50 megapixel sensor. And you can see that is way, way slower. Do you know what I mean? It is time to check on stabilization and video quality. And I thought I'll bring the phone side to side so you can actually compare exactly and see which one has better stabilization. This is ultra wide angle 4K 30 FPS. That looks pretty good. Main sensor. Nice there. We can actually switch between the lenses during recording. Not bad at all. Right, and we've got times three.
Okay. This is the quality in 4K, 60 FPS on Honor 200 Pro. I can even switch to times three. Look at the quality. Folk is doing a pretty good job here, I have to say. Wow. Sadly, Honor 200 doesn't support 4K 60 FPS. I had to reduce the resolution down to 1080p and then I can do 60 FPS. I can switch times three, but you can see that autofocus isn't as reliable. I am a huge macro photography fan and both devices have macro mode available. So let's compare those pictures now. On a 200 selfie camera, 4K, 30 FPS, this is the quality. That looks pretty nice, I have to say. Not bad at all. On a 200 Pro selfie camera recording, 4K, 30 FPS. Well, let's take some selfies now. This is on a 200 and I have to say, it's really hard for me to tell the difference on a small screens, but so far they both look very, very similar. And this is on a 200 Pro. Let me know if you can see any difference between those two and I'm gonna take some portrait photography shots now. Maximum zoom on a 200. This is the quality, pretty impressive. And switching to ultra wide angle. And this is the quality on on a 200 Pro. Maximum zoom times 10. And I have to say they both looking pretty good. And switching back to ultra wide angle. I have to say, I'm really impressed about Honor 200 camera performance. I was not expecting this phone to do so well. You know, in some of the shots, I actually prefer the Honor 200. The selfie at night was actually better in my opinion. If you want more performance and you want the IP rating, then of course Honor 200 Pro is a better option. However, remember that phone is way more expensive. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.